So if you're anything like, uh, apparently a lot of people, then you've got a few of these lying around. And if you've got a few of these lying around, then you've got a few of these lying around, and you've got a few of these lying around. Let's do something about that. With the 2.0 version of my 501st Battle Pack Venator. First, here's the full build somewhere that you can follow in super satisfying speed style right now as you are. Or if you want to build this yourself, this acts as a full build tutorial because you can take the playback speed in YouTube down to 0.25 and that'll be me building this thing brick by brick in real time so you can follow along and build this yourself. Okay, so let me try to tell you all of the cool features this thing has in store before the build is finished. And when the build is done, I might even tease another little alternate build that I've been working on for another little 501st battle pack. Mm -hmm. Comment what you think that alternate build could be. And if you have any ideas for what I could combine these two 501st battle packs into, comment them down below as well because I could definitely do an alternate build video and tutorial for something, a combination of these. Give me an idea. Okay, so the first huge improvement of this Venator over my previous version is that this one does not require any of the extra pieces from the set. So you can go directly from the ATRT and the speeder build directly to this. The old one needed some of the extra pieces, which let's be honest, we've all lost them by now. So this one doesn't need any of those. Go right from the 501st Battle Pack builds that you have sitting on your shelf already, right to this. There's also some extra little bonuses that I was able to squeeze in, but this build also on its own is a lot more stable than the previous version. It has less gaps, I managed to fill in some space there, and it has the sticker details applied, so if you're just looking at it, it looks a bit better than the old one did. But yeah, with some top tier piece management, I was able to include a stand that, again, just using the pieces from the battle pack, we were able to include a little stand with a figure in the front which works super well, a little bit wiggly, but it stands on there for sure. It's been on my shelf and this just makes it look so much more displayable. It's almost like one of those MIDI scale sets and the old version of this build didn't have a stand integrated, didn't have the pieces for it. So it kind of just sat on its belly, which is definitely not as cool. So the stand here, big plus. But yeah, outside of the displayability, it integrates the nice slope design into the bridge. It integrates those awesome engines that have always been there. And it's just a better complete package. And you know what? Alongside all of the cool stuff that the build has, I think probably the most important part about building an alternate build like this, I think this version has a much, much better build tutorial. So hopefully once that build is all done, I will show you this up close. So here are all of those beautiful little details all built up. If you build this yourself, maybe along the way, see if you can find any modifications to do for the alternate build. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see how you make it better, improve it. I think all in all, it came out really polished. I love the way it looks. And you know what? I think it would look pretty darn good next to an alternate build of the other 501st Battle Pack, which you'll see in about a week. So subscribe so you don't miss that.